hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here welcome <laughs> please hit the subscribe button and please like thank you so much you guys diddy is not laying low he is out and about in miami after he posted that fake apology to you because it wasn't to cassie that loser tried to look unbothered as he smoked a cigar while strolling through his miami neighborhood he was dressed in an all-white outfit and wearing a medallion. The medallion had a picture of him and his dad. You know, I guess his childhood picture of his dad and him. This is the first time Diddy has been seen in public since the release of the 2016 hotel security footage, which showed Diddy beating, you know, Cassie. Check out the video. Are you doing all right, man? Everyone's worried about you. Are you okay? Are you all right, man? Appreciate it, man. I hope you're good, man. Have a good Sunday. All right, cheers. Diddy, we're just trying to figure out what's going on, that's all. People just want to know if you are if you feel sorry, if things are gonna, you know, what's going on with that. I'm sorry to bug you. All right. Love. Have a good day. All right, you too. You think people will forgive you, Diddy? Cut it out, Puff. Cut it out. So you were disgusted back then, you're disgusted now. So let me ask you a question then. Was that the last time that you did that to her? Was that the last time you did that to any woman? If you're so disgusted and you went and you got all this help and you feel whatever. And if that's the case, why did you, why did you um, say enough is enough and say that she was lying? Say that, um, you know, all the things in her lawsuit are not true. That incident was in her lawsuit. I remember that incident because I was around, remember? I remember her telling me about how you spent $50,000 to get rid of that video. Watching that video the other day was crazy because I thought no one was ever going to see it because of you. And now you're sorry? Really? Cry me a river, bro. You're not sorry. You're sorry you got caught. And I'm glad you don't want forgiveness because ain't nobody giving it to you over here. You know what you did. You're fine with your behavior. That's the bottom line. That is you. That person on that video is part of you. And that part of you needs to atone, needs to take whatever is coming to you because you have already sown these seeds. Take your punishment like a fucking man. Talking about you, sorry. Get the fuck out of here. I also played a video of Cassie's close friend, Tiffany Red, reacting to Diddy's fake apology. She said, cut it out. Yeah, cut it out, Diddy because you beat her a lot after that incident. And not only that, that night where you saw in the video where he beat her, that was a freak off night. So after she had to sleep with all these men, I guess they went to bed and she tried to sneak out and leave. I guess, you know, he woke up from the sleep. He realized that, you know, cause when you were sleeping with somebody like that, they always on edge. Any little movement, they'll know. And he knew. He woke up from that and he threw on his towel and he chased her down. Now imagine if he did not have that towel on. Imagine if he was fully dressed. He would have, oh my gosh, because she got it bad many times. So that hotel footage is nothing compared to what he has done to her and Kim Porter and Misa Hilton, Mary J. Blodge. And so many, so many, so many more. Oh, my gosh, this guy, monster. So, Teddy Jakes takes time during his sermon to speak on domestic violence. I'm not even going to play that clip because he's full of ish. All of a sudden, someone asked him for prayer. Some women who was facing domestic violence and he wanted, she wanted him to pray for her. So, that was his service. That was his service today. Okay. After Diddy's uh, being exposed, the video leaked, 
and Diddy's apology. Now his goofy behind wants to talk about domestic violence. All of a sudden, a woman wanted him to pray for her. Diddy, I said Diddy. Bitch, what's his name? Titty Jakes? Get lost, you freak. Anyways, moving on. 50 Cent had this to say. He says, this is not going to work. Who is advising him right now? Shaking my head. Bad move. And then he posted this. I understand how she feels seeing him apologize, not addressing her after this video gets out. It makes it feel like he wasn't thinking of how she felt having to see it. Shaking my head. Where is his crisis management PR team? That was a bad move. Yeah, that's what we all said. Also, Aubrey O'Day had this to say. Diddy did not apologize to Cassie. He apologized to the world for seeing what he did. He said he's disgusted with himself now. And he was disgusted with himself then. But apparently, he wasn't disgusted enough with himself to not pen this statement out calling her a liar and denying all of it. Leave God and mercy out of this. They aren't present here, and you know it. Amen. Thank you. They always want to call on God. These Luciferians, these Satanists, every time they need, like they're in trouble, right? They're about to be canceled. All of a sudden, oh, God, God. No, 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 no. You don't, you don't follow God, remember? You're not living for God. You're not living for God. You are a Satanist. You are a Luciferian. You don't care for God. You're destroying God's people. Right? And yet now it's God, God, God. No, 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 no. Oh, Teddy, it's not over. God will handle you. Vengeance is his. This is only the beginning. If you do not turn around and stop your evil ways, you demon. That's all I have to say. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So thank you guys for tuning in. Please like. Please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> thank you guys so much. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.